Welcome back to the channel. Let me teach you how to download and install Lightmatica 1.21 for Minecraft. Now, before we go ahead and get started, I have to let you know that this Lightmatica 1.21 that we're about to install is still a pre-release. As soon as Lightmatica 1.21 officially is released, the 100% working version, we will have a video on that. So this is a pre-release. It's still working. It's still good. It's still the Lightmatica that you know, but it's a pre-release. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step is to click that second link in the description, which is going to bring you over here. This is the GitHub page of Sakura. Now, Sakura, it's kind of in charge of doing the pre-release or the beta we could say of light marica there's a slight chance that maybe you have some inconveniences like i don't know some random bug or like a crash a small chances though but just keep that in mind once the official version of light marica is released you'll probably be able to find it i don't know in curse Force or something anyways just go ahead and click on that second link in the description that'll bring you over here scroll down to the 1.21 sakura link in here just go ahead and click in there that'll redirect you over here Let's scroll down a little bit and then click on Lightmatica Fabric 1.21 here on the assets and that'll begin the download immediately for the Lightmatica mod file, okay? And while Lightmatica is downloading, here's a message of our sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that is open 24-7 and that is hosted online so you don't have to worry about IP attacks, IP leaks or anything like that because Apex Hosting will take care of the server for you, then Apex Hosting is what you're looking for. If you use that first link in the description, you get 25% off your first server. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting besides them having locations all around the world so no matter where you are you will have a good connection is that you can literally control the server console through your phone meaning that you could be away from the house like be at walmart or something and still be able to change the settings move around the server console and do whatever you need to do for your server anyways i'm gonna leave that first link in the description to create your own server with apex hosting and now let's keep going with the tutorial now once we download lightmatica if you have ever installed lightmatica in the past you know that you need a mod library for lightmatica to work in this case we need this mod library in here called malilip malilip uh, as funny as the name sounds it's also made by sakura at least the pre-release again once the full version of malilip the mod library is released it will be in the curse Forge page of malilip which we have guides in our website and stuff on how to access that and how to download that for those of you that don't know anyways just go ahead and click on that third link in the description that'll bring you over here again all props to sakura for doing all this work for light marica to work as a pre-release then go ahead and scroll down once you're over here on 1.21 and click on malilip fabric 1.21 on the assets and that'll begin to download immediately for malilip now once malilip downloaded i want you to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop and at this point go ahead and also drag and drop the light marica fabric to your desktop and also guys if you already have fabric the mod loader install uh, if you already know how to install a mod loader and then you install fabric 1.21 all you have to do now is drag and drop light marica and malilip to the mods folder for fabric 1.21 and that's it you're set but i'm assuming most of you watching this video don't have fabric and that is why you're watching this video so i'm gonna teach you how to download and install fabric which like i said it's a mod loader and it is what is going to allow us to install these mods into minecraft Okay, so go ahead and click on that fourth link in the description, a written guide on how to download and install Fabric. Feel free to read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along, scroll down to step one, click download Fabric Loader here, that redirects you over here, where you're going to click download Universal Jar, and that'll begin the download immediately for the installer of Fabric, and once you download the installer of Fabric, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now with all these three files, we are ready to start. First, you want to make sure you close your Minecraft game, as well as your Minecraft launcher. It is extremely important though, however, that you have played Minecraft Vanilla 1.21 at least once in your computer to create an instance of minecraft 1.21 for us to be able to install fabric if you're confused about what i'm saying just open minecraft up and then close it that's it close minecraft close the minecraft lounger now right click on your fabric installer head over to open with and then just click java the only way this wouldn't open is literally if you don't have java 21 because yes you need java 21 to install the fabric installer the thing is that after minecraft got updated to 1.20.5 you now need java 21 to install any type of mod or to use any type of jar files related to minecraft so i'm gonna leave a guide in the description on how to download and install java 21 it's extremely simple all you do is download java and then you literally click next a couple of times and then you will install java 21 which will allow you to open the fabric installer sometimes you might have to head over to search i don't of programs and then get rid of your older java like java 7 java 8 java 17 sometimes sometimes you don't most of the time people just don't have java at all you install java 21 you're good you're able to open this if you do have to get rid of your older javas and you ever were and you ever were to need them again we have videos on the channel as well as guides in the website on how to do all of that anyways let's go ahead and open the installer app once we're here go ahead and click on install and literally just wait a couple of seconds and fabric will be installed now click ok close the installer and now you could even delete that fabric installer because we don't need it anymore 
all we have left over now it's light marica as well as malilip now go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and once you open the minecraft launcher if you install fabric properly you will see selected here automatically if that's not your case however just head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected because without modded we won't see fabric in here and as you can see i have a bunch of different minecraft versions in here because i also have the 1.20.6 and stuff don't worry our fabric 1.21 is right here and if that's not the case for you you could always click on new installation and where it says name just name it whatever you want like for example apex hosting because they will give you 25 percent off that first link in the description to create a server and then in the version just look for fabric okay usually i just type fabric in here and then all the fabrics will come up and usually the most recent one is the newest one that we installed which is 1.21 and then just click create here on the bottom right and that will add an instance of fabric over here whatever the case might be let's go ahead and install those mods so what you have to do now is again head over to installations in here find fabric hover over the fabric 1.21 instance and then click on this little folder which will then open a folder with a lot of files in it but we're specifically looking for a folder called mods m o d s and mine is right here and as a matter of fact some of you might not even have this mods folder so i'm gonna go ahead and delete mine and all you have to do if you don't have the mods folder is literally create a new folder and name it mods so click new click folder and then just name this folder m o d s mods go ahead and open that folder up and now just drag and drop those mods that we downloaded earlier into here malilip and then like marica go ahead and drag and drop those into here as you can see they are here now close this folder head back into your minecraft launcher and now launch fabric you might get this little prompt in here click that you understand the risk and then click play again and the fabric minecraft will open now once minecraft open let's just go ahead and launch a world let's go ahead and launch a single player world in here and we should see our newly installed light marica working now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm not an expert with light marica I know how to install it, but I don't really know how to use it that well because I don't use it that often. I just install it, okay? Okay, so once you're here, I know if you press M, you will have this menu here for like Marika. And if you get a stick and stuff, you can change the settings and stuff. But this is not a tutorial on how to use like Marika. I could probably make a tutorial on that. Just give me like three days and I'll come up with that tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to download install Light Marika, which we just did. And if Light Marika is now working for you in your computer, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And I know that sounds like a lot, but we will get there. I promise you. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.